Alright, hey guys, just an update. The indoor grow room. This is my worm bin, but I planted winter eye in here after I moved out this pepper plant because it was shading out this and I moved this over. This other pepper plant over. But I planted winter eye in here and I just chopped it all down and I packed my worms. As you can see, mixed in there. But I took my worms down from up on top of here and I set everything down on top of the shack shelf. And right here I planted some lemon basil. And I have this LED grow light 14 lot. I'll be getting two or three more of them, putting them over here instead of this fluorescent, because fluorescent is 18 lots. But I have some lamb's quarters that I'm growing. Garlic is doing great. I've got garlic in this crack key method. My aquaponic bean that I had is in here, and I'm watching this bean that it has on top. And it's been growing. It's at least been doubling in size from the first size when it came out from about the first two days. It's been doubling in size. Um, every day after that, it's been about three days, three or four days since the flower fell off. But still gonna let this bloom, flower, go to a flower on uh, this red night, sweet bell. But got some basil planted in here, lemon basil. I have some. Uh, I can't remember the name actually. I don't know. Oh, oh, marigolds, marigolds. I have marigolds planted right here. And I have some beans, um, pole beans, that are some yard long, Orient Wonder yard long. And my peppers are doing great. I don't know about the air layer. I haven't really checked anything on it, but I'm going to leave that go probably until spring. But everything's doing great. Uh, transplanted all my peppers into these cups out of the worm bin. All doing great. That one's my favorite right there, the poblano. My yellow bells is just starting to get leaves. And as you guys can see, my hydroponics right here. I'm using some Fox Farm Grow Big uh, fertilizer. And um, I have compost tea bag in here. This is what the string is for. I got a worm compost and a panty hoe in there. But as you can see right here, this has just got normal potting soil with holes in the bottom. And I just cut a hole on the top of this lid and stuck that in there. And it's got two sprouts coming out of yellow bells. Um, but beans doing great. I only have two beans now. Started out three, took one out. Root growth is great. They're doing really good. These were just about that size, that little end bud right there. Uh, just this one right here. That was the only thing sticking out in between these seed leaves two days ago. And they're both doing real good. Both got that. And then this one, yeah, it's bush now. It's getting a nice branch right there. I'm going to let this one go in kind of like a bonsai. It's about six months old. But more winter eye right here that I'm just going to try and get some seed from. If not, I'll give that to my worms too. Carrots, not really looking too good. I got potatoes growing. Just stuck them in there. I'm going to throw those into pots. See how they do? I have another one right here. Sorry, I moved my worm bin, so I'm adjusting stuff. Uh, this can go back down right here. My garlic. And this potato, I guess, I can set down here. But what I wanted to show you guys was... Oh, here's another pepper. Don't really have room for it under the light right now. I guess I can set it on top of that basil until I get it somewhere over here. But... Uh, my worms, it's really anaerobic in here. I'm kind of gross, it smells like sewage. There's no holes in the bottom of this because it's in indoors. But I should get put holes in this and then put it inside another tote so it can drain. But uh, let me go over here. These guys can see this is really sticky and slimy and gross. So, what I've done to try and dry it out, I haven't, oh, well, I haven't even watered that since I put it in this tote. But what I have is this that I just built and it's PVC, half inch PVC with holes all through it I've got holes all over and all the piping and I'm just going to stick this down in there uh, here let me take a piece off actually I'll just take this end piece off so 
just took that end piece off. I haven't really put this in there yet to see what it'll do, but this should just aerate it a lot more. Underneath, I'm going to bury this, so I'll show you guys. That's just what I'm doing. I don't really know how to edit videos or anything on YouTube, so I'll, for YouTube, but I'll just show you guys this later. Here, I can probably set you on top of this bucket. My tripod is broke, but here, I'll try and get you guys at an angle where you can see me doing that. Without having my camera tip in the warm bin. Okay, that's not really going to work. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try, guys. Okay, just wait. <laughs> Sorry about the video quality. There's not really much left in my video. I'm just going to bury that. But, let me see if I can get something. Okay. There we go. Now, you guys can just see what I'm doing in here. This is, see this really, really sloppy. Gross. But, uh, I think I'll put it in like this. So, let me dug out this end first. Again, sorry for the video, sorry about the bad video quality, but my tripod broke. Uh, yeah, and it is February 25th. of 2013 but I'm just gonna try and get this as far down closest to the bottom as I can so it lets air to the bottom then that hopefully dries out but yeah this is just nasty stuff right here it smells and it's sticky and just gross There's a rock in there. Guess I can leave that. And I just the other day took some cardboard. And there's well, there's not very many worms in here, guys, to let you know, but the other day I just took some cardboard and I put that in a blender with some water. I blended that all up and threw that in here. Buried it in here, but oh no 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 no. Okay, that's gross. Let me just show you guys what I'm doing. See, that's buried. Let me take this off. That's just nasty. But take that back. I'm putting my screwdriver down. What I'm doing for this is I am taking this, which is kind of like a huge piece of cheesecloth. I'm just going to throw this over top of my bucket. I'll get that secured somehow so no flies or anything get in there and no bugs get in there. But just an update on my grow room, what's going on. I will be getting aquaponics in the bottom of here. We're looking at tanks and pumps. I'm going to have to lower this down and then I'll be putting a 20 gallon underneath here. And I'll be having this. This will stay here. Probably get a new lid for it and do some net cups. Leave this one though because that, the root mass is too huge. I'd cut open the pot to get it in there, get the roots in there. But then I will have another tote right here. Which will be a, or this will be stay like this, and then this one will be a regular flood and drain grow bed, and then it'll just come out from a pipe in here, it'll drain into this, and then it'll come back down into the tank. So I don't really know how all of it's gonna work out yet, but that's what I'm planning on doing, getting aquaponics in there, at least by this summer. But just an update, probably get me more LED lights, I'd recommend them, they work really good. But thanks for watching, please comment, rate, subscribe. If you like these videos, I'll definitely keep posting them, so 
stay tuned.